Hello guys, welcome to TechBay. In this video, we are going to work with a custom date picker component which will allow us to select a date from today and in between uh, plus 15 days. And I'm doing this video after a comment by a friend who, uh, in my video for date picker. So let's begin. I'm going to open Xcode, create a new Xcode project. Let's select single new app, view next. Let's give a product name, let it be custom date or something like that okay and select a swift storyboard and view next okay let's go to main door storyboard now from the library i'm going to drag a text field into our view controller okay now let's set constants for the text field I'm going to set left, top, right, and height. And I'm also going to provide a placeholder text. Simply let, let it be date. Okay, now I'm going to add a date picker. Okay, let's give some constraints to date picker. Left, top, right, and height. Okay, now I'm going to create outlets for the text field and date picker. Okay, let's create an outlet for text field. Let it be field. And another outlet for our date picker simply be picker okay now let's go to view controller swift and here i'm going to set in the view doodle i'm going to set our date picker mode that is picker dot date picker mode is equal to dot date because we're going to work with date here okay now i'm going to create a variable for our date picker component let's say where component is equal to date components okay now I'm going to uh, give constraints to this component uh, for maximum date let's say component dot day as I said before we're going to allow the user to select date up to 15 day up to 15 so I'm simply giving 15 and we're not going to alter the month or year so component dot month is equal to 0 and component dot year is equal to 0 okay now we will set our picker maximum date as uh, this component constraints okay let's let's say picker dot maximum date is equal to calendar dot current dot date i'm going to select the second one by adding date components here date component is our uh, date component we we have component here and we will add this constraint to our current date the current date is going to be uh, we can uh, call the current date using date function okay now we are going to set the minimum date because I will explain later okay before that I will add a picker to add a target picker dot add target and target is going to be self view controller and selector let's say selector mm. let's say pick something like that anything I'm going to when the value is 10 we are going to pass the date 
to f the, to the function uh, let's see uh, here I define uh, picker okay so here uh, UI control dot event event is going to be value change okay I'm going to create the function here let me describe there let me picker fun And it has an argument sender and is a type UI dead picker. And we need to expose this one to objective C at objc in front of our function. Okay. Now we will create a formatter. Let formatter is equal to dead formatter. Now formatter dot date format we will set the date format is equal to uh, it's, it's in the form of a string date month year okay now uh, we will display the date uh, in text field we have a text field here field dot text is equal to uh, we have formatter dot string using the string option string from date we can display the date okay date is from sender dot date okay that's it now we will run the program Okay, now we have our picker view here and today is December 30, 2019 and I'm going to change the year to 2020 it working but if you can see here uh, the day is here is 14 I'm trying to increase this one to 15 January January 15 uh, we cannot select that one uh, so I'm going to select February even we cannot select the February I'm going to select 2021 here we are not able to do that I'm going to select the 31 here it's possible I'm going to select the uh, sorry 12 here is possible 11 possible so now I'm going to select the 2019 and December 11 so we are able to select the date that, uh, that is uh, less than the current date so we need to set a constraints for minimum date also so I'm going to set component dot day is equal to zero and component dot month is equal to zero and component dot year is equal to zero now we're going to set the picker minimum date picker dot minimum date is equal to calendar dot current dot date same like before we'll add components to date let's say date function okay this will make sure uh, the date uh, will start from today and it it, it cannot it will not the picker it will not uh, allow user to select a date that is less than today or that means yesterday day before today something like that okay let's run
Okay, now I'm going to select 2018. I'm not able to select 29. Not possible. November, not possible. October is not possible. So here is going to be maximum 30. <laughs> From the 30, we can see I'm going to select here 27 is again written into the 30. So 2020, and the maximum is 14 here. Okay, this is how we we are we, uh, we are customizing our date picker component. So guys, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.